uh, there are various initiatives in New Zealand um, within the fishing industry, especially between AFL and Sanford, to um, figure out how we can add more value to our industry and, and build a positive reputation. The, um, the one challenge that we have is that people often don't understand what the commercial seafood industry is all about. So we've come together to, to figure out ways of showing and communicating what we are doing out there. So one project that we would be working on, for example, is um, implementing cameras on board vessels to, to indicate to the general public what is happening on board our vessels. In terms of working together, uh, one of the founding principles for us is uh, acknowledging that we're fortunate enough to operate in, I think, one of the world's most pres pristine and sustainably managed fisheries. And uh, our company and, and Sanford uh, are, uh, are the same. We have a deep sense of responsibility for our people uh, and, and the best kai moana that New Zealand has, has to offer. And in, in protecting that kai moana, uh, we've come to recognise that we can't do it by ourselves. One single company doesn't have the ability to change the landscape. So we have to work together in order to have more impact. For the broader sector, I think uh, the most important thing is that we work as a cohesive unit. It's far more compelling uh, when we speak to the public or speak within government that we work with one voice. And uh, uh, by uh, two of the largest fishing companies collaborating together on sustainability, it's going to help uh, embed best practices as being the industry standards. Um, and that, that's a positive example, raises the bar for everyone else to, to have to lift to. It's really essential that the seafood sector works together in New Zealand. If you compare us to the rest of the world, we are just a very small sliver in terms of total seafood supply. And um, traditionally, we've been competing against each other um, with full force in order to just beat the other one in terms of prices out there in the market, etc. But in fact, we should be competing against everybody else out there based on the brand New Zealand that we have here. The partnership adds value to our business in the sense that we can actually um, achieve results on projects that we probably wouldn't have embarked on, on by ourselves. We've made fantastic progress in identifying better ways to, to capture fresh fish and bring this to market. Um, we wouldn't have embarked on this on our own. So this adds tremendous value to, to every kilo of fish that we're catching. We can't sell what we can't catch. So uh, ensuring we look after the resources for the long run is vital to having a steady flow of product. It provides uh, uh, continuity of employment for our fishers and for the people in the factories. And employment is vitally important for us, it's part of our aspirations of what we want to achieve for Māori out of the settlement. There's more employment. Uh, uh, and and um, uh, so that, that, that's really adding value for us. And of course, ultimately, what we want to do is deliver dividends to our iwi shareholders uh, because that enables iwi to then drive their own social agenda or economic agenda in the region. So you know, it, adds, it underpins a whole value proposition.